Hello everyone, this is Civ Kenny here with a tutorial on how to upload your VR chat avatar from Unity, which there is no other way to upload your avatar. Unfortunately, you have to download Unity. I know it's terrible, terrible system, but to answer your question, there is no other way. So we're going to go here to Unity, archive, download. Why are we doing this? Because VR chat's thing that you use to export avatars doesn't work on any version except 2019 go here 2019 2019 431 you have to get this specific version otherwise it won't work so once you've got that then you want to go to vrchat.com slash home slash download and this is where you download the sdk3 for avatars you have to download this to export the avatar to VRChat. Then some things you might want to get are the dynamic bones asset. This here, dynamic bones asset. Well, you don't have to have it, but it's very nice to have because as you can see in this little video here, it's got everything jiggling around, kind of lifelike. If you don't have it, things will be stiff. And that's okay. Some people can't afford the $20 dynamic bones. I understand that. But it will look better if you have it, so you can go and add it to your cart, whatever. Then something you probably want is Poyomi Toon Shader. And you can go here, Poyomi Toon Shader. Download all this. Yeah, you Some avatars use a specific version of the shader. Others come with the shader. So just make sure to read the description of your avatar before you do anything. So we're going to go to gumroad.com. We're going to discover. Now you can also find avatars on booth.pm. However, I'm not using that site because most of the things on there are paid and... I just don't feel like doing that today. <laughs> so I'm going to search for VR chat avatar. Now we have a lot of paid avatars in here and they are very high quality. Don't get me wrong. I love them. They look super nice, but I'm not here to buy things today. I'm here to show you how to upload things. Yeah, let's go with this one. This one seems good. Yeah, I've purchased it before. I'm I'm just doing it again because I know what's going on. I'm going to click on purchase again. Zero dollars in here. Now, if you want to donate money, you can put in like 50, 50, 100, 300. You can put anything in there. But I'm just doing zero because I want it for free. And I will probably donate at some point, but I don't have much money to donate now. So it'll be a while. <laughs> I'm going to download this. Once it's downloaded, close this and open Unity, which you should have installed already. If you haven't, go do that because you kind of need it. All right, we're going to go new project tutorial. Now this project is finally loading in, so I can click in here. First thing I want to import is the VRChat SDK3. So I'm going to go to wherever I downloaded it. I'm going to go VRC SDK3 avatar. Drag it in here. Wait for this to load a bit. Then import. Which is going to take a bit. So I'll be back again. Alright, that's now imported. So next thing you're going to want to import is dynamic bones. Then finally, you can import Poyomi Toon Shaders. However, I believe this avatar comes with Poyomi Toon Shaders. So I'm just going to extract this. Go here. Unity package file. We're going to import that. I'm going to go Foxo PC because I'm on PC and I can't really test avatars on Quest. So uploading it for Quest would be kind of dumb so i'm gonna go here pc unity there's also a no dynamic bones thing for unity also not every avatar has this so that's very nice i'm gonna just double click it make it appear in here 
can see the dynamic bones here. They're working. Body. All right, so looks like everything's working good. Working fine. So, this avatar seems to have everything set up already. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> so, I'm just going to go up here to VRChat SDK up here. And I'm going to go to Show Control Panel. I'm going to sign in. Signing in. We're going to go to this Builder Panel. All of this is good. If you have any errors up here, you should be able to auto-fix them. However, if you're not able to, that's a big issue. And I don't know how to help you because that's specific to every model. So just hope that there's auto-fix and it doesn't break the model. So I'm going to press on Build and Publish for Windows. However, if you want your avatar to be used in Oculus Quest or something like that, you have to click on this button up here, switch build target to Android first, and then it'll say build and publish for Android. However, again, I'm not on VR, so I'm just going to click on build and publish for Windows. Now, if you click on this and nothing shows up, you should look down here in the console console project right next to projects console you can look here and see all the errors this error doesn't matter this is just an update your thing because it's old thing so i'm just going to ignore that but yeah now we're on the screen i'm going to name this foxo pc and i'm going to go to scene because this camera this camera angle is a little not too pleasant so i'm going to go down here in the hierarchy go to vrc cam I'm going to select it. I'm going to drag it around, rotate it a little. Now, you do not have to do this. This is just how your avatar will preview for other people. So I like it to look kind of nice. But it doesn't have to be perfect at all. It can just be... It can be anything. But, yeah. I'm going to click on this. Because I do have permission to upload this. And I'm going to click on upload. So now it's going to upload to VRChat. Alright, this says complete, no errors. I can launch VRChat to see my thing. I'm just going to wait for a minute because VRChat does not update instantly. It takes a few minutes. So you're going to want to be patient. Now I'm going to launch VRChat and see if it's uploaded should be if it's not it's probably just needs a bit more time but hopefully it'll all be good now we're gonna go to avatars my creations fox opc there it is i'm gonna change into avatar i'm gonna go to a private world so i can see how it looks and voila there it is it's all working fine the dynamic bones work great Everything over here is splendid. Love this avatar. Might donate when I have some more money. Definitely recommend this. Yeah, this is very nice. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope that it helped you. Hopefully you can get your avatars uploaded. Hopefully you find some nice ones. You can find a lot on booth.pm and gumroad.com. There are a lot of nice ones. Most of them are paid, but there are some free ones if you're into that. So, yeah. Hope you have a wonderful day. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I will try my best to answer them.